Uh, pleasure to meet both of you. Thanks, uh, you too. Kat, I found out my birthday's a couple of weeks before yours. No so way! We're both from the Bay Area. May what? So third. Third, yeah. nice. We're both from the Bay? Yeah. Where? San Francisco proper. Sweet. Uh, and John Claude, the very first movie I ever saw with my uncle George was uh, No Retreat, No Surrender. Ah, oh, great. So I've been a fan of yours ever since, and it's an honor to meet you. And I had no idea how funny you were. Nice to meet you, Ivan, the Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I still love all the movies. Now, what was it like working with Jean-Claude on this? Because you're, you're familiar with comedy, and we're more familiar with Jean-Claude's action films, and now this is a, a combination of the two. So what is it like to work in an action setting but still maintain a sense of humor? It's incredible. This is, like, such a great opportunity to get to be in something that's very real and very dr dramatic and grounded in some ways and then hilarious in others, and to see him play Philippe and, and do this almost like Commedia del Arte-ish kind of um, amazing physicality uh, is fascinating and exciting and I'm learning from it and it's it's really cool. But I always knew that Jean-Claude was funny because if you go back to like Double Impact, yeah. come on, he's funny. But I mean the level of comedic timing that you have, I did not expect it to like this extent and I was in stitches the whole time. I had to watch it twice to catch all the jokes. We should also credit our amazing writer, Dave Callahan, and creator and EP, and our amazing director, Peter Atencio, who both are, have amazing comedic eyes and visions. What is it like to play a, a caricature version of yourself? You did it already in JCVD, but now in a six issue ser or a six episode series. It was cool, it was nice. But we have people who knows me, I mean, you know, they did their, their research and the writer Dave, uh, the mama of Dave was uh, in uh, judo, Chinese uh, judo or something because judo is from Japan, but uh, whatever, something like that. <laughs> no, and she loved my movies, uh, VHS time. So Dave was sharing time with uh, his mother watching those martial arts films. And he's a big writer, so he came down there in that type of martial arts. The guy was doing movies, he's a spy, he go all over the world with this location, undercover, bing, bing, bam, 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 boom. He took that concept and made it a la Dave Callahan, fresh, unusual, where I play real, because I like to play real in my movie, and I gave the disease to this woman who can play anything. She's very flexible into acting, right? So she took it real too. The director saw it real. Dave Canahan saw it as a something never seen before and as a like resuscitation for Jean-Claude, like a comeback type of story. And all this together with the jokes and everything became and Ridley Scott and Amazon. On top of that and below that became this product. So we're all very lucky. Well, this is the greatest comeback since Creed. And it's yeah. The of the, his uh, resurgence and now yours, and I'm excited for it all. And your comedic timing and just your smile make, makes us want to watch it even more. Thank yeah. you. Is there any scene that particularly stuck out in the six episodes that you're like, this is the, the moment that everyone is going to like latch on and say, this is the show I have to watch over and over again? That's a great question. It's a very great question. I mean, I have to say, for me, watching it is the experience was like, oh my gosh, we crammed so much story, so many effects, so many fights, so much drama, so much comedy into one episode. Like, it's hard to believe that we're that it's so short. I mean, it's like it's epic this this adventure. So I don't I, I don't know that I could necessarily single out one scene. I mean, without spoiling it, I'd say there is something that happens at the end of the second episode that maybe really sets the tone for what we're about to go through. And and and, and one more thing, this movie is big. Uh, it's a big movie. Look like a big film, but the character are so well explained. It's also very intimated. You don't see it big but you see it big, but you see the character. So I think we have some scenes out there who are very special in terms of putting stuff together. Yeah, like it has all the big act, I know you're- Yeah, I which is fantastic. I know, but I know, I know, I know, you're getting, Sorry. people are okay. angry at you. But, but you know, just, you know we but, get, right? But it's important, like- It's it, also a story. It's such That's a big, lovely. there's so many big flashy moments, but then underlying it all is just, such a, a full and rich feeling heart, you know, that I think is, that's really what's gonna ultimately keep people wanting to watch. Perfect.
Well, I love the score. I love the soundtrack. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. And the score, the soundtrack oh, yeah, the score was amazing. Incredible. The music.